Hello, I'm Joanne Myers, Director of Public Affairs Program. For almost 100 years now, the Carnegie Council has been the premier voice for ethics and international affairs. This month begins our annual fund drive. We hope you will consider to donate and donate generously so you can continue to watch these videos. To donate, please press the pause button, donate, and you will return to this video. Thank you for keeping the voices of ethics alive. The issue, I think, that uh, has direct parallels today is not so much the history of the mosque. As I say, the history of the mosque is interesting in its own right, but the, the issues is the misuse, I think, of religion for political gain. And I think there's been this tendency in U.S. policy going back to the 50s, as we've seen, continuing today to see Islam as some kind of a tool that can be used for foreign policy gains, that will somehow reach this part of the world, will control, control it, or somehow uh, have some sort of influence if we can just reach the right sort of head man who runs the religious groups there. And I think the Muslim Brotherhood has lent itself to this because the Brotherhood is the best organized. They have very well-educated people. They speak the vocabulary, the language of international affairs. They present themselves very well. And just like Syed Ramadan looked like a good catch for the CIA um, in the 1950s and 60s, so too does the Brotherhood today, be it not just in the Middle East, but in other parts of the world, seem like uh, a good interlocutor. Uh, I'm not arguing against dealing with any group on the planet. I simply think that one should be careful in politicizing religion. I mean, often we say we don't want religion to be politicized, but then we go after the most politically active groups and put them forward as our official interlocutors and then wonder why religion is politicized. Um, and I think that that's probably the biggest risk um, and, and the clearest parallel to the 19, between the 1950s and today. Mm -hmm.